Hello everyone, Pinder Productions here, and today I'm going to be reviewing this WinStar's Communicator C1 SATA hard drive USB docking station. So this is to plug your internal desktop or laptop 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch SATA hard drive into a PC using a USB. So uh, let's open up the box and see what we get inside. I'm going to use this knife to peel back the tape. So if we fold this all out, we can pull this and I guess that's a bunch of cables. And here in the bottom is the docking station with the disc and the instruction manual. It's a mainly plastic construction and there you can see the SATA connectors so the hard drive goes in there and connects to the SATA connectors at the top here and I guess this is a support on the back. It's got rubber feet so it doesn't move around so it's got an on off switch, DC in and a USB port, not a micro USB, I think it's a mini USB they call it. Fold those out. So in here is the a bag and the power cable with a UK wall adapter on the end so that plugs in to the DC in 12 volt to power the hard drives. So I guess desktop hard drives need a lot of power and in this second smaller compartment we have the mini USB to full size USB to plug into your computer and that will plug into this port here. So I've now set up the SATA hard drive dock. I've got the power plug plugged in here and the USB plugged into my computer. So I'm going to switch it on and there's a little red light. So now I'm going to plug in my SATA hard drive to the SATA slots in there in the top left. So there are the SATA ports and I'm going to plug that in and it plugs in and it has started spinning so that's a good sign. Windows has recognized new volume and system reserved. I can access all the files that were on my previous PC. This was one of the hard drives I used. Here we have the files from my previous computer. We can go onto large icons. I have all these videos so if I open this, this is from my Fire HD 10 review, then we can play the video from the hard drive. You can tell me to, turn up the to remove the hard drive safely, I would suggest closing all programs that have got the disk being used. Come down to here in the bottom right of Windows, safely remove hardware and eject media. Eject SATA ATA ATAP bridge. So eject that. Safe to remove hardware, so that's fine. Then come round to the back of this and press the power button to switch it off that will remove all power from the drive and then you simply just pull it up and it's out and that is how you remove the SATA hard drive from the SATA dock so this works with 3.5 inch hard drives perfectly you can access the data off of your old hard drives and put it on your new computer which is the exact thing I wanted this for uh, it does cost £20, so it is quite expensive, but if you want to try and get your data off in an easy way, then I think it's worth it, depending on what data you want to rescue or use to get off an old hard drive. And it does mean you, that I can repurpose these hard drives as backup hard drives once I've copied the data over. I can wipe it all and use them as just a simple backup hard drive to use to back up some of the important files and have them in an extra place. So if anything does happen terribly then I have got it saved in another place. This is the end of the video. Overall I believe this product is very good and very useful for the purpose that it serves of accessing data of an internal hard drive externally from your computer so I would say it is very good however it is quite expensive at £20 I would have hoped it would be cheaper but sadly not. I will though try and find a link to this in the description below that I can leave there. If you do want to buy one of these then I'll link you to that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or that it was entertaining or useful for anyone watching and I will see you next time. Bye.
Yeah.